Well, so some preparation things quickly. Um, obviously, or perhaps not obviously, uh, you should absolutely complete and maintain a thorough due diligence set of materials. Uh, these days, you usually already just put them into an electronic due diligence room and you should start working on those at least say a couple of years before you think you're going to be acquired and then keep them up to date as part of your regular governance cycle. So if you're having monthly or six weekly board meetings, there should be an item on the board agenda just to make sure that our due diligence materials are up to date. What do we have to tweak? What do we have to add? What news item should we include that has happened in that intervening period? Because when the time comes, you can't start to scrabble around to prepare good quality due diligence. And being prepared gives you the best opportunity to take advantage of whatever is coming your way. And again, delivers that great first impression. You know what you're doing, you're a well-run business. These qualitative elements that are evidenced by pragmatic quantitative actions go a long way to engendering confidence and trust. And those are the things that make people pay more. Uh, a little bit of scenario planning doesn't hurt as a, as a management practice. Um, another thing is if you're planning to do an exit, you should certainly plan ahead of time who the team are. You should have a member of the board, probably a non-executive director, who's gonna lead the negotiation team. 